What's up, my friends? I'm Maeve. I'm so happy to be here with you. We're going to do a quick strength workout. You can do this with no weights. You can grab water bottles. If you have dumbbells, great, grab them. And I'm going to take you through some fundamental movements that are really important for staying fit, keeping your body healthy, and for a lifetime of activity. We're going to start with a squat. So you're going to bend your knees, send your hips back like you want to sit in a chair, and then you've changed your mind, a friend, oh, there's my friend, you stood up and you're gonna greet them. How's that? <laughs> sitting down and driving up. Sitting down and driving up. Weight is balanced in your feet. Yes, you are catching yourself in your heels and you're driving from your heels, but the front of your foot, your toes, the base of the toes, those are still down as well. So you're super strong here. In the feet, in the hips, in the belly, across the chest. This is something that we call like a total body exercise. While we think of it as lower body, hips, glutes, legs, it's important that your shoulders stay rooted into the back, that your belly stays connected, meaning that as you're sitting down, you're drawing the belly back to control, but also to support your spine. Let's take a couple more here. I don't know if you can hear it, but my knees are doing some little bit of popping and cracking. Totally fine, I have no pain with it. If yours are doing the same thing, it's just the joints warming up. If there's pain with it, that's a different story. Reduce your range of motion or even stop. But if there's no pain and you're making noise in the knees, no reason to stop. Two more. One more. Perfect. We're gonna stagger our stance. That means that one foot's gonna go back and one foot is forward. Soften the knees, open up the chest, and then curl up and release down. Curl up, release down. Here's something I want you to watch for. This, the old swing, the old sweet swing cheat. <laughs> I was gonna call it a sweet. I was gonna combine the two. No swinging, you're gonna muscle this up from those crazy strong biceps. You're holding your center. You're gonna switch the foot that's in front and we're gonna go for a few more. Legs are strong, center is strong, glutes are stabilizing. Mm -hmm. Don't you dare stop, you got three more. Yes. And one more. Really nice. Okay, I'm gonna turn sideways for this so you can see some of the really important key points here. We're gonna hinge at your hips. So that means like you're bowing. You're bowing basically. And anytime we bow, we wanna bend the knees a little bit so that we protect our back and we ask our glutes to do work here. So you're gonna bend the knees, you're gonna hinge over, you're gonna pull both elbows up. This is called a row. You'll release the weights down and you stand it back up. So this is a deadlift coming forward. Little bend in the knees, row, release the arms, stand it up. It can be a very little mini hinge forward. So if you're starting to feel this in your back at all, make the range of motion smaller. Pull your belly in as you come forward. And I know that idea of pulling the belly in can be a little tricky. So inhale, exhale, pull the belly in, empty it, release it and stand it up. So sometimes when we exhale with it, it teaches us to pull the belly in. So we're gonna inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale to come up because that belly has to support you there as well. Inhale, exhale, inhale, pull up. And honestly, there is a contraction here in your belly pretty much the whole time. So if it feels better for you to exhale here and then inhale and then exhale and inhale it up, whatever gets it done for you. But make sure you're breathing and make sure you get that good squeeze in your belly. It's not the same as doing a crunch. We're working on activating those transverse abdominals. It's like an internal girdle. You have one more here. 
Beautiful. And then we're going to put those weights down. So we've got one more exercise for today. We're going to do push-ups, which I know sounds really daunting, and it doesn't have to be. So we're going to do push-ups to the wall, and that's a great way to start. And so I'm going to show you here before I move to my wall. Or I'm going to use my window, I think. Elbows are lower than your shoulders. And when you're in the push-up, it's almost the shape of an A, okay, versus the shape of a T. And that's really important because it puts your shoulders in a stronger position, a safer position. And then that same sense of belly pulling back. So, hmm, let's see, I hope that you can see, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one here. You're gonna drop in and push back. And then I'm gonna go on an angle and I'm hoping that you can see what's happening in the core. I guess I didn't choose my setup very well here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it on the floor, but I'm gonna do it on my knees so that if you wanted to, this would be a great alternative too. So it's that sense of pulling away as you lower in and then pressing up. Pulling the belly away from the wall or away from the floor and then pressing up. Come with me now. And of course, we still have that sense of that internal Girdle. Let's just do three more. Last two. And last one. Beautiful. I'm going to come back up to standing on the assumption that you're still standing. And then we're just going to take the arms behind the back. We're going to lace the hands like this with the elbows bent. And then just draw the elbows back. Good. I say this all the time. Take your feet wide. The best way to get better at push-ups is to do them. And if we don't do them, we won't get better at them. It's that simple. Take the arms out wide. Take one arm across. Open back up. Take the other arm across. Open back up. Draw into your center. That's it for today. You're done. This is enough. If you want, go back through, rewind it, do it all again. So doing two sets of everything. If you want a little more, add another video on. There's lots of them to choose from. But if this is all you did today, it's something and it's enough. You're enough. You're amazing. Thanks for moving with me.